Hello again. I'm back for another edition on my E71X video tutorial and this time I have some cool new apps I'm going to demo for you. So first off let me go ahead here into my main menu and as you can see here I've created a separate folder uh, that I've labeled my apps folder so that you know you can see all the additional apps that I've downloaded. So in my last uh, third party app series we looked at YouTube, the photo browser, and I believe the Mobler application. Those are three of my favorites. Now, uh, two more I'm going to go over today is uh, Google Maps and Skyfire. Skyfire is a brand new one uh, for the E71X because of the uh, new software that was in the E71X. Skyfire actually wasn't even compatible with this device until actually earlier this week. So really excited about that one. Let's go ahead and hop in here into the Google Maps. This one's been around for a while, but definitely probably the most important app to have on your phone. I'm going to show you some of the key uh, capabilities of this uh, program. Obviously it's a free download. You just basically type into your phone's web browser uh, google.com slash latitude and it will go you know, right to a uh, link for you to go ahead and download the, the uh, program. So anyway, as you can see here, it utilizes my phone's GPS chip to go ahead and, and locate me there. Uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do. Uh, obviously, you know, zoom, zoom in, zoom out with that number one and the number three on the keypad. So three to zoom in and right there, uh, number one to zoom out. And basically you can, you can see the entire area. Uh, you can get live traffic. Um, I use this all the time. You just hit number seven right there on the keypad. And it'll go ahead and load up the traffic. You can see in the top right it says it's loading. So obviously the green, you know, it's pretty clear clear roadway, yellow is going uh, you know, slow, and then any red areas, uh, you can see there's a few down there in the, uh, around the DC area down here uh, in the Woodbridge area and whatnot. Those are, those are really backed up, so you want to avoid those roadways. So this is kept pretty much up to date. You know, I've occasionally found it to be not 100% accurate, but for the most part, it is the most up to date uh, real time traffic, and, and it's very easily accessible at all times. So you can just kind of keep an eye on this and kind of monitor how the how the traffic's moving and, and navigate your route accordingly. So definitely a handy tool to have there. Um, I even have my dad texting me now to ask me to check the traffic for him when he's on the road. So anyway, here's some other cool features. Uh, obviously, you can search for stuff pretty easily. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, other softwares out there that'll do searches for you. Uh, but you know, so far I found you know Google has the most complete database and you know easiest and quickest to find stuff. I've done races against other programs. So just for example, if I want to find an AT&T store nearby, um, I've just gone ahead and entered that in. That was a recent search I did. And as you can see, it'll just go ahead and start pulling up a list. Um, I can see where they are on the map, or I can just go ahead and see it on the list. Um, I can select for details right here. It gives me the option to call directly from this link. Um, get directions. I can automatically send it as a text message to a friend or family member. Let's say it's a restaurant and I'm going to have them meet me there. Uh, that's a real quick and easy thing to do. I can even save favorites. So, you know, my favorite points of interest that I go to on a regular basis, it'll go ahead and mark those spots for me right on the map and save them for me. And then also I have the, the option to save it as a contact in my address book. So, you know, if that's something that I'm going to be calling on a frequent basis, uh, just a quick and easy way to add it into my address book. And now, this is obviously just an AT&T store, so, uh, you know, if I, if I write error over, it gives me a few details here. Um, now, if it's a restaurant or something, you might actually get a chance to see some of the reviews um, and things like that and some of the ratings. So, you know, if you're searching for restaurants and you're out of town, a uh, pretty cool way to, quick and easy way to find, you know, what restaurant might be good and which ones to avoid. So, let's say I'm going to get directions here. It'll say it'll default to do by uh, my location, my current location. Of course, I can set that to be another location if I prefer, and I can ch choose my transit method uh, to, you know, uh, if I want to do um, what's it called by car, by walking, or by public transportation. So it gives you the option to do all that. Right now, we're doing uh, driving, obviously. So I'm going to hit Show Directions, and so it'll come up as a list here. It'll show me, you know. Uh, how many miles, about how long it'll take, and then I can just hit C on the map, and it'll give me, let me just go ahead and zoom in on that. So that'll kind of give me a list of the directions, and as I'm going along, you can just use the number four and the number six key. So number six will go ahead and automatically move along to the next step.
you can see I'm just actually just tapping the number six here. So there you go. That'll get me there. And number four will take you back a step if you want to go back and see where you are. Or if you just want to see, again, your current location, hit number zero, and it'll zero right in on you. And you can start to zoom in and zoom out. So anyway, that's, that's uh, some of the great functions here on uh, Google Maps. One more very cool thing is latitude. Um, just go ahead and click on that. And you can see any of your friends or family that have uh, a Gmail account, you can just go ahead and add them on here. Um, let's see. So, you know, you can kind of uh, share your location with, with different friends and family that, you know, you want to share your location with. Obviously, it's an opt-in kind of program, so you're not going to be able to spy on anybody without them knowing. You have to send them an invite, and they have to accept it. And uh, even so, let's say, you know, I can update my status. Um, I can put my mobile number here, and I can actually uh, manually set my location or hide my location, or I can completely, uh, you know, sign out of latitude. So, you know, people will only be able to find me when I want them to find me. So, great tool to have. Um, you know, very cool feature and there's even a new service available through Google that allows you to actually share this web feed on if you have your own website or a blog or whatever you can actually up, upload that onto your website so it would be open, open access for all people to see it. Obviously that might not be for everybody but cool feature nonetheless. So anyway let me go ahead and close that up now that we've seen and you got to make sure when I, when I exit Google Maps, it asks me if I want to continue to share my location with Latitude. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit no on that. So now let's move on to Skyfire. So for those of you who haven't heard of Skyfire, it is a third-party web browser. Obviously, you have the uh, Safari-style web browser built into uh, the, the phone, which is a great browser in itself. But Skyfire is much more advanced. Um, you know, there's other programs out there, you know, Opera Mini and, and, a, and a bunch of other ones, but Skyfire for media content is by far the most advanced web browser. It supports, you know, Java, Silverlight, Flash, content, all kinds of stuff. So right here from the home page, um, you can go, you know, it has links for Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Hulu, and, you know, you can, you can customize your home page. All you got to do is create an account and that's free to do and uh, you can basically customize your home page to do any layout you want. One of my favorite demos to do is just go ahead and bring up uh, Hulu.com. You can see it'll make uh, recommendations based off of you know what you're typing in. Let's see here. So there we go. It gave me Hulu so I'm going to go ahead and select on that. So you could actually watch a full uh, streaming TV sitcom right, right through here. Uh, just, you know, think of whatever your favorite web address is, you know, it has some media, obviously a lot of people like YouTube, you know, you got the YouTube application that's separate for that, but if you want to access the full site version, you could do that here through Skyfire. Let's go ahead and find something, uh, don't know what this is here, let's zoom in on that. And you won't get any, like, mobile optimized, you know, versions of websites or, or reformatting of websites. It's going to give you whatever pretty much you see on your desktop computer is what you're going to end up seeing right here. So this is a news update. And you can actually use the number three to zoom in and number one to zoom out, kind of similar to uh, the Google the Google Maps. It's just going to take a second there to. Uh, but he is fresh faced with a mop of brown hair, but dressed in jailhouse yellow and shackled like an adult criminal. Okay, so let me just go ahead and you can, obviously you can go through all the different settings and things like that and play around with it, but you get the idea of what it's all about. So again, just wanted to share that with you, what you would do from your phone's browser, just type in the web URL, www.skyfire.com, and it'll take you directly to the download link. It'll recognize your phone as E71X, click on it, install it, and there you go, you're ready to rock. So anyway, some must-have apps right there with Google Maps and Skyfire. Uh, go ahead and try those out and leave your questions and comments in the section below, and I'll be glad to get back to you. Thanks for watching.